This video shows you how I adjust the tension and alignment of the drive belt on my Can-Am Spider. I'm not suggesting that you should do this. It's far better to just go to the dealer and empty your wallet. After all, they'll do the job properly. These are the tools I use. Just a little trolley jack, although I could just use a scissor jack. And a ring, an open end, a spanner. 36 mil both ends that I've just cut in half and I just use the hex tool out of the toolkit. Four wheel chocks for both the front wheels to make sure the spider doesn't go anywhere when I'm working on it. To check the belt tension I use a Cricut 2. They're about $50 in Australia. Um, half of that's postage. But it's way cheaper than the BRP recommended tool and does just as good a job. So I chock both the front wheels. Place the jack at the back of the centre frame. I like to jack the tyre up so that there's uh, a reasonable amount of clearance because um, I'm going to start the bike in a minute and it tends to jump around a little and I don't want the back tyre hitting the ground. Now I use the cricket to test the belt tension. You push the little blue thing right down with your finger in it. Just put the, uh, the tool up on top of the belt about in the middle. And pull down until you hear the click. That tells you that it's ready to read and I can see that mine's at about reading about 140. It should be between 160 and, and 180, so I need to adjust the tension. Remove the caps from the rear axle nuts on both sides. You notice that uh, particularly the, the right hand side cap, you can see that it's got a split in it. That's so that the uh, cap can go over the split pin and into the, um, the center of the axle. With the ring spanner on the left and the open ender on the right, I then undo the nut until it comes to the split pin. You don't need to take the split pin out for this job. It's now time to start the bike. Make sure it's in neutral. Start it up. And put it into first. Release the clutch and then just let it idle. So the back wheel is now spinning. The first thing to do is to adjust the tension. So you do that by moving the left hand bolt in or out. So if I move, if I turn that bolt clockwise, that's going to bring the wheel backwards and increase the tension. If I turn it anti-clockwise, it's going to move the wheel, wheel forward and reduce the tension. But moving it forwards and backwards will also change the belt alignment. So on the right hand side I need to either turn the, the bolt 
clockwise or anti-clockwise to move the belt. I'm going to move it clockwise and you'll see the belt move away from the wheel and increase that gap. It only takes a minute or two to get the feel of what's happening uh, with the, the belt alignment. And you'll see if I move the, the belt anti-clockwise, the belt's going to come back in towards the wheel. Now we, we're aiming for about a 1 to 2 mil gap there. I turn the bike off and recheck the tension. Place the cricket on the belt, pull down, wait for the click, and reread it. I can now see that the tension is about 160 to 180, so that, that's fine. I tighten up the axle nut with the bike running again, because I've found that when, when you tighten the axle nut up, sometimes it can change the adjustment on the belt so there's a little bit of fiddling to do sometimes. I replace the caps making sure I align it with the split pin so that the cap can go into the axle. Stop the bike, let the back end down, remove the chocks and I'm finished. Now I can sit back and enjoy that inner glow of having done a job myself.